After a rough 16-14 and 14 campaign last year, in which the women's basketball team missed the postseason for the first time in nine years, Joanne Boyle and her staff know that there's only room for improvement this season. I would definitely say last year was a struggle, and a lot of that had to do with a, a lot of different variables. Obviously, we were bit by the injury bug quite a bit, and so we didn't really have any, um, we didn't have a consistency, which I think is so important for the growth and, su and the success of a team. Um, so I think that really hurt us. I think anytime you're in the valley or go through struggles and, and problems, um, it always gives you a chance to reflect and how do you do better. I also think that as the culture is changing, there's a process that you have to go through. And then sometimes it takes a year, a rough year, to go through some things for the culture to actually change. And I think we experienced a little bit of that last year. The Wahoos lost three senior starters from last year, but gained four first-year student athletes that bring many different aspects to a team looking to get back to its winning ways. I think first they bring depth, <laughs> so they add, we add four new players to our team, and they're all very different. We add more athleticism, um, we add some skilled positions, we add players with uh, a great work ethic, a passion for the game, a, a group that really wanted to come in and move our program forward and be a part of, um, be a part of growing a program instead of where some players want to go where there's already an established program. In this first year class, we get some really good basketball savvy kids. I'm very knowledgeable of the game, very fundamentally sound, love the game, love to play the game, very high basketball IQ kids. The most important thing is that, you know, that they just bring what they can and do what they do best. I, I like to tell them and, you know, install in them that, you know, we may not be as tall as other post players, but there's some tangibles that we can bring. We can play hard. We can run the floor. We can have confidence when we're out there. While they gain youth and depth, the Cavaliers need experienced leaders both on and off the court. Re-enter Lexi Gerson. The fifth-year senior returns to the lineup after sitting out last year following season-ending hip surgery. I don't even know the words to describe how I feel about it. I'm on real excited and thankful and humbled, and I just, I can't wait to be back on the court with my, my sisters, to wear Virginia across my chest for one more year, to play in my arena with all amazing fans, and I'm just thankful for all the people who supported me to get there, to help me. It's been a long road, but I drive fast. The great thing about Lexi taking a redshirt year is we actually had time, and we knew we had time going into it to where we could make sure that we brought her along slowly if we needed to, and there were times where we needed to back off her a little bit. The challenging thing with her is she had bilateral, so both extremities, both lower extremities were affected. So she got out of surgery the first time, we were trying to get her as strong as she could and as functional as she could, take care of some of those dysfunctions going into the second surgery so she could come out of that one good. Anytime somebody has surgery, we follow the direction of our orthopedic surgeon in their um, rehab process. And basically what that entails is uh, initial wound care, uh, and then you know we get right back into regaining their range of motion, um, strength, and function, so that when they get back out onto the court and they're participating, they can participate at the highest level possible. Gerson, a defensive standout, along with fellow seniors Atara Franklin and Kelsey Wolf were named this season's captains and know the importance of being leaders for those following in their footsteps. Right after this season I walked in and I knew that Kelsey, Frankie, and Lexi were going to be our captains. And not that it needed to be a title, I just knew that they were going to be our leaders because we had a lot of youth on the team and a lot of, obviously a lot of youth coming in. Um, so right away we just started having conversations, weekly meetings about uh, leadership, what it, what it means to be a leader. It was a really great moment actually when she took us aside right after the ACC tournament and she announced to the team that we were going to be the captain for next year. It was kind of the final door close to that disappointing season we talked about and it was a, another door open for what's to come of next year. I'm really excited and, and, and humbled to be honored uh, to be a captain with these two other players on my team so I think it's going to be a really big year and I'm just excited to be a big part of that.